Well, as you might guess, people are stocking up ahead of the winter storm. Groceries are a hot commodity right now. Brian Miller went to Reesers where food was flying off the shelves. If you regularly watch TV news, here we go again. The mad rush to fill the fridge just before winter weather arrives. So forgive me for being cheesy, but it's no wonder. So many people come to grab bread, eggs, and milk for their honey. They don't want to be in a pickle. Because I don't want to get out if I don't have to. 22 degrees. So to avoid being in that jam, shoppers getting their buns to the store. They'd be nuts to get out during the storm or let us or anyone else run out of the essentials. Yeah, if I see a big storm coming, snow or rain or anything like that, yeah, we try to get out and get as much as we can. The city's fleet includes 47 trucks with plows, about 12,000 tons of salt, all standing by to keep the streets clear for shoppers who didn't get out today. We want to get it done so we don't have to get out in the cold, get uh, food that is like warm, comfort food. Like stuffed peppers and lasagna. You need something to go with all that bread. You start to see empty shelves <laughs> the night before. Yeah, it probably won't be bad, but you know, I'd rather not have to get out if I don't have to. And by the way, the city's salt and sand trucks are assigned to 35 specific routes, making up more than 1,700 miles. Priority is based on traffic counts, so the busiest roads will get cleared first. Tulsa's SPC 